Hello everybody, Sinus111 here, and welcome back to more FTL Faster Than Light. In the previous part, I've started to question whether this ship, the Federation A, that I'm playing as right now, is really that strong or not. I mean, it has an artillery beam as its super weapon, it has burst laser too, what the Kestrel A has also, but, um, I've gone through a nebula sector that's that was undergoing an ion storm, and and I was all the way down to one health. Yeah, that was the reason why I questioned its integrity. But we're gonna forgive and forget, move on to another beacon, like this one. Oh, that's just great. Yet another ion storm into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack. No choice but fight. And I've really got to upgrade my... <laughs> I think this is where the... I think this is where my drone would come in pretty handy. I have to repair my oxygen too. There, you're down. That was only marginally better than what I did earlier in that ion storm infested nebula. And I think I hear fires too. Where are they at? Oh, they're in here. Gotta put them out. Then we can move on. There you go. On a side note, in the last part we also ran out of fuel, and we got a great deal of 5 fuel for 20 scrap, and I may want to look into getting some repairs for my ship later, or better yet, soon. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Do I want to risk attempting to um, I think I should keep my position. I'm, I, I don't want to risk running into a rebel ship right now, given how low my health is. Uh, I hope I run into a door soon. Oh, great. Another plasma storm. I'm going to avoid the risk. You arrive to find a number of ships convening around the station. There is some unencrypted chatter between the ships. You tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing the conversation, it seems that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. I doubt they'll say I'm properly equipped, but I'm just going to choose off for your services anyway. They briefly scan your ship and inform you that you are not properly equipped for this type of mission. I thought I didn't think I was. My health is low, I'm running out of fuel again. Uh, oh, a store. I had enough scrap for both fuel and full repairs. Nice. Let's go to the distress beacon next. I'd want to visit all of those beacons down here to see if there's anything interesting for me to take or receive. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. 
Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Let's remotely repair its targeting system. Because I have an NG crew member. Your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. The station gives you its thanks along with a reward. Great. Now I have enough fuel and hull integrity to last me quite a while. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. You know what? You can have three. I may regret this later, but... Anything worth doing is worth doing right. Thank you for your business. You're welcome. There's a store here. I think I'll visit this one more beacon before... I visit. You find a mercenary for hire at this beacon. The unique skills can sometimes prove to be useful. I'm going to have him delay the rebels, and so that I can explore these later beacons. Let's I visit the store. Uh, the mercenary ship masks its jump signature to mimic your own and then jumps off in the opposite direction. This should keep the rebels guessing. For a while, yes. There's another store here, but I'm not going to it. Sorry. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. There's a lot of choices here. I think that I think that'll do for now. Let's jump. Holy crap! A weapon is just floating in space. Seventeen scrap and a laser charger. Well, wasn't expecting that, given the luck I've been having earlier. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. I beg to differ. I'm demanding the surrender of your goods. I am ready. I know you're... I know you're probably not gonna warn the fleet of my position this time, but... You look like a pretty good opportunity. Uh, my oxygen's down again. You better not jump on me. And you're down. The debris implies that the ship was carrying drone schematics, but unfortunately nothing remains. You do find functioning drone parts, however. Well, drone part, given that we only got one from this whole battle. Not very amusing. I'm gonna upgrade the reactor as promised. so I can power up my combat drone and burst laser at the same time. I'll go here, then the distress beacon, then the exit. That's my plan. Your scans reveal an ore refinery and several factories, all standing and still... Oh, wait. All standing still and empty. 
Sorry for the garblement. No life signs detected. That's uninteresting. Like with humans. Common and uninteresting. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Sure. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Added a quest marker to my map. Um, let's have quest beacons over here. Uh, one, two, three, one, two... Yeah, I think we have time. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer you a reward. One missile, one drone, 46 scrap, but no fuel. I'm running low on fuel again. Long reach beacon. Because of the war, thousands of colonists have had their supply lines disrupted and have found themselves in dire straits. It seems in this system, the rebels are sympathetic and are distributing what little supplies they can spare. I'll just leave it be. It goes against my morals to steal, even in video games, believe it or not. Engine controlled sector, only one we can go to. You have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Well, I better stock up on fuel since we're out of it again. Uh, this game just throws no mercy at you. Really. But I think this is going to be where I will end things off for right now. So, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!